Well, hey, what's happening? It's Jeremy J. I have finished all of my treatments for my stay here in Tijuana, Mexico. Woohoo! So I'm ready to I'm ready to go home. <laughs> go home to my condo and pet Dido, who I left all alone for like five days now, and so it'll be nice to see her again and hopefully the litter is not hopefully there's not poop everywhere. <laughs> Uh, so I, this is video 72. It's been an interesting year, hasn't it? Especially if you watch news and scroll through Facebook feeds, which I normally don't do, but I have been doing it this week just so I can get a pulse on what's happening with humans as a collective. And right now, humans as a collective right now are panicking, are afraid, are hoarding various things, toilet paper and water seeming, they seem to be the most things that are being hoarded. Uh, just a general fear, anxiety, and anxiousness energy is kind of what I'm sensing on humanity as a whole, especially here in the, especially in the United States, which I'm in Mexico. And speaking of Mexico, there's like only 14 cases of the COVID-19 coronavirus. No one, no one here is, think business, it's business as usual here in Mexico, not a problem. And I imagine that Mexico is probably not going to have too huge of a problem unless people start traveling to Mexico in the future, in the next few months when things die down elsewhere and bring it here. But I don't sense anxiety and anxiousness and panic here in Mexico. All the stores are full. I have no idea what the stores are going to be like when I go home tomorrow night after I fly home and and go to my grocery store. I'm hoping there's some celery and some some plants I can juice for a couple days and some vegetables. That's, that's my hope, but I don't know what to expect. I have a small amount of food storage, maybe a couple weeks worth. And that's about it. So hopefully I hopefully I have uh, the means to get some veggies and if there's not much to get I guess I will have to fast and lose a bunch of weight <laughs> anyhow video 72 the, a pulse on the energy of humanity I can feel it like I feel kind of the anxiousness right here of people and the uncertainty and I think that's really what what's happening is people feel uncertain and they see what's happened in Italy and Iran and China and other places and no one knows for sure what's gonna happen so I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen I don't think anyone truly knows what's gonna happen you can just do your best do your best to stay home if you're sick follow the follow the basic guidelines self quarantine if you're sick and uh, but like I've been I've been researching viruses and disease for the last few years. Many of them are asymptomatic for a period of time. You don't know you have it until your body kind of recognizes it and starts combating it. But that doesn't usually happen right away. <clears throat> so it's tough. Like We humans are way behind when it comes to truly gaining an upper hand on microorganisms. It's right now it's just something that runs rampant through humans <laughs> and you just kind of have to build up your immune system through diet proper nutrition supplements exercise meditation and various other hippie and kind of witchcrafty type things that people have been researching especially if you've had chronic illness or any kind of problem but anyways this is my take on humanity right now. I think people will avoid pain, will do all they can to avoid pain. So you'll see hoarding of various things. You'll see people being willing to quarantine and isolate themselves. And eventually the numbers will start going down, but the, the COVID-19 coronavirus will wash through, I think, a good chunk of people before it finally dies, dies down over the course of probably three months-ish, two to three months, maybe six months max, I don't know. China China was able to implement strict, a strict uh, 
measures, strict measures to get the numbers down. So their numbers are way down now. <laughs> and so hopefully the U.S. can do the same thing. And, and hopefully it spawns more research into viruses and it speeds up development of genetic therapies and and microscopic therapies that can help eliminate or curb some of these diseases. I've got several viruses in me. They're permanent right now that they can they, they can reactivate when my immune system goes down. So I would love to have those viruses gone. That would be nice. And maybe all this stuff that's happening will accelerate that. Who knows? Hopefully it becomes valuable to do that now for all viruses and conditions. That would be cool. I would love to see that. So this might be a blessing in disguise in the long run, but I think in the short run, three to six months, it's going to be painful and an adjustment of life. But hopefully everyone appreciates life that much more. I know by getting sick, I appreciate each moment in life. My, I'm in my hotel room and my neighbors in the other room, there's a bunch of guys just yelling and having a good old time, it sounds like. But I hope this virus gives people pause to appreciate life a lot more to appreciate the good moments in life and to treat treat each other more to treat each other kindly and to not take anyone for granted and to appreciate good moments when they happen that's that's what i would hope for humanity so hope for heart the hope for humanity anyways my treatments have gone good here in mexico a lot of sitting down and getting IVs and shots in my body for stem cells and pretty tired, but I wanted to make sure I did this video of the general state of humanity and hopefully what happens moving forward, that we all become greater, a, a greater pool of consciousness and caring and, and for my own self-interest, I hope microscopic research accelerates way faster. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.